<clears throat> Hi there. This is just a quick update on the wine, which um, it's had two lots of uh, yeast in it now, both of which failed. And I just um, racked this into another bucket. Uh, cleaned out all the dead uh, yeast cells and uh, cleaned this bucket again, sanitized it and put it back in here and f put it through uh, two filters to get rid of uh, as much um, partic particles as I could. Um, so now I'm going to try, the final try, a new, uh, another um, yeast pack, which <coughs> is still the same company. This is a Lalvin EC1118, and um, a light shining on it. Anyway, so this is from a different supplier too, it's a different store I bought this from, so I was wondering if the two packs that I've just used that failed is just old stock or something, but I'm not sure. It might be something I did um, with the wine, or there is another possibility because it's only a gallon, it did ferment fully in... Um, two or three days because I did get some foaming um, but it stopped foaming really quick and usually it foams for at least five or six days so I'm not sure whether it's just the amount whether it actually finished fermenting or not but anyway that's another possibility because it's only a gallon and usually I would be doing a, at least three gallons or even five gallons so, so this is a, it's foaming nicely. This is a, in water with a tablespoon of sugar. And uh, the yeast added and stirred in and it was at uh, around uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit roughly. Um, it actually says it wants to be at a slightly higher temperature than that on the packet. It says 104 but uh, that seems a bit hot to me, but I tried 104 and it didn't work, so it's the previous two. So anyway, so I'm waiting for this. It's going to have 20 minutes, so in about another 10 minutes it's going to go in with the wine again and we'll see what happens. <coughs> and then I've got some more chicken dye rice soup going. Uh oh, steamed up my screen. So this is what the Campbell soup again. It's a packet kit packet. You just add uh, chicken and mushrooms and whatever else you like. Peppers. It already has a whole bunch of vegetables in it with the rice and a fish sauce. Fish sauce packet rather. Anyway, that's what's on today, and I will show putting this. Uh, reactivated or activated yeast into the fresh container um, filtered racked so it's clean of all the old dead yeast cells and we'll start again see what happens see whether it takes or whether it's actually used up all the sugar because it's only a gallon I'm, I'm not used to doing this small amount so it's the instructions for the recipe or it says 10 to 14 days but uh, anyway I will get back to you when I add it. Bye for now. Hi back again gonna add the yeast it's, as you can see nicely activated gonna add it I'm not going to dip this time. 
is what I did the first time and I'm just going to leave it I'm videoing anyway there it's, so that's got the fresh fresh yeast I'll seal this up so you can see it's got the airlock and I'll get back and do another update if it starts frothing and working or fermenting. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. <coughs> There's my uh, chicken Thai soup. I thought I'd just show that. And lots left over for tomorrow. Just a quick update on the soup. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.